As you eat food, you begin to break down simple sugars such as glucose. Your blood sugar levels begin to increase. Insulin is then produced by beta cells in the pancreas. This regulates blood sugar levels and this is known as negative feedback which helps maintain homeostasis. The liver takes the excess glucose and stores it as glucogen. If there is too little blood sugar levels which results from vigorous exercise Glucagon is released, which increases blood sugar levels. Alpha cells release glucagon, and this would be known as hypoglycemia. Vice versa, hyperglycemia is high blood glucose. Alpha cells also convert glucagen into glucose, which is known as glycogenesis. Beta cells convert glucose into glucagen. This is called glycogenesis. This occurs in the liver. Next is the GLUT4 transporter which is found on adipose tissue and skeletal tissue. It is responsible for glucose transportation in and out of the cells. Triglyceride is glycerol and three fatty acids. This lipid helps biodirectional transfer adipose tissue and blood glucose in the liver. Or from the liver. When food is absorbed, the pancreas stimulus stimulates amino acid absorption and, and protein synthesis. Lastly, facilitated diffusion allows for spontaneous passive transportation, which allows proteins to enter a cell.